Hello everybody and welcome. Today I'm going to be playing a game called Top Hat. It is available on Steam currently for $9.99. Um, it has mixed reviews and today I'm going to take a look and find out why. It's uh, like an old school retro platformer, got some guns, action going on. That's pretty much all I know about it. Easy, normal, hardcore. I'm um, not hardcore, but I don't want to be a little pussy, so we'll play on easy. Um, I did pick this game up originally because it says it has partial contr controller support. I don't think it likes working with my controller. So I might be playing this with the keyboard. And why do I have a gun? Oh, shit. Well, there was a whole bunch of messages right there. Yeah, my controller's not working. So I'm going to go ahead and play with the keyboard. X is to shoot my gun. Cool. Oh, that tried to kill me. What is jump? I um, somehow got to my Windows keys now. Z is jump. Okay. Oh, that guy takes more than one shot. And those are some spikes. I'm an idiot. Some bad, some bad goop. That guy's dead. I'm gonna go down here. Yeah. Oh, hit a switch. So Z is jump and X is to shoot. It keeps freezing. I don't know what that's about. It'll freeze for a couple seconds at a time. Oh, shit. Can I kill you? Doesn't look like it. Oh, that was balls. Dungeons 2-1. <clears throat> so far, it's not bad. It's not, like, amazing. It, it's got very... It's got very first gamey kind of vibes going on. I don't know what I mean by that. It's... The elements that are there are kind of generic, like I'm collecting coins, but I have no idea why. I was kind of just plopped in, which is nice. I mean, I don't need the game to hold my hand, necessarily. Shit. I think it, it maybe the controls are my, my beef that I have with it right now. They're kind of... I'd prefer to be playing with the controller. I was trying to use an Xbox 360 controller for those curious. It wasn't working. And without putting extra effort into it, I'm going to say it doesn't work right off the bat. Running low on health. Dungeons 3-1. <clears throat> Ow, I'm getting kind of reckless now. Ha, ah, didn't fall for that one. I keep hitting the wrong button. Why I keep jumping instead of shooting? My own stupid mistake there, though. Huh. Oh, now we get to see what dying looks like. That just resets. Oh, the enemies are back. That's great. Can I make it? I think I can clear that jump. I hit a switch on the way. Oh, I have to go up there and make that block fall again. Oops. Fuck.
Wait for the slime blobs. Platforming is tight. The controls are pretty good. I like that part, at least. I don't like that my frames keep just going bye-bye. Alright, until I know what these coins are for, I'm not even gonna fuck with them anymore. Oops. Shit. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Ah. Oh. Did not know bombs were dropping. Son of a bitch! I do not like this feature. The go back and do the whole level part again. I would much rather prefer more checkpoints. What the fuck? I'm gonna die again. Okay, this is kind of starting to get frustrating. That time... See, I'm not sure if it's showing up in the game capture, and I don't want to sound like a little bitch, but... The frames dropped there, and it caused me to stop mid-air. I lost my momentum, my forward momentum, and that's why I fell in the uh, acid pit and died. Took damage there again, unnecessarily. Ah, oh, bullshit. Fuck. Alright, now I'm just being stupid. But there's a reason for that. Fucking shit! See, those guys are retarded because it doesn't seem like there's any element of strategy. The guys with the guns on how you can beat them. Oh, you can shoot on ladders. That's cool. I guess, what am I supposed to just time my shots more spaced out so they match his and cancel out his bullets? The guys with the swords could be avoided. I'm just not giving a shit. God. Don't know why I did that. I'm, I'm an idiot. What do I have? Two hits left? Alright. I'm gonna drop in on this mofo. Wow. Alright, well that was Top Hat. I don't really know what to say about it. I will say this, I'm glad I got it on sale. Um, and hopefully I saved you guys some money. You didn't have to get this game. The, the controls were okay, but the enemies... Or maybe it's the design of the levels where the enemies are placed, I don't know. But the enemies, the way their bullets, they just kind of... I just felt cheated every time I died. I never felt like dying was my fault, even though I was being kind of reckless and running around, getting shot and stuff. 
I never felt like I, when I died, that it was justified. It always felt cheap. The bombs falling from off screen where I couldn't see where they're coming from, that kind of sucked. Um, this game's not awful. Uh, somebody who's more skilled and more patient than I am would definitely find it in a worthwhile investment. Uh, some of the other reviews have said it's about a two to three hour game. So take that for what you will. Probably less if you don't die. Probably a lot less. Uh, maybe play it on easy mode just to get through it. Just to get your money's worth. I did see a short video of someone doing the final level and it looked like a pain in the ass. Switching between the weapons all the time and stuff to solve the puzzles. And I don't really have the patience for that anymore. So anyways, this has been Clank Clank Boom. Playing a steam game on the low low that means cheap I'm playing a cheap steam game on the low low i just educated you <laughs> anyways i'll see you guys later thanks for dropping by if you like this video don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe for more cheap game reviews later